एवरीवन सो इन टुडेज वीडियो ऑन द जी मैट मास्टर सीरीज वी आर गोन लुक एट द पास्ट परफेक्ट टेंस एंड बेसिकली वन इम्पॉर्टेंट यूजेज और वन इम्पॉर्टेंट वे इन विच द पास्ट परफेक्ट टेंस इज टेस्टेड ऑन द जी मैट देर आर थ्री फोर यूज द पास्ट परफेक्ट इन इंग्लिश बट द जी मैट विल ओनली बॉर्डर विद वन सो लेट्स लुक एट दैट वन या हियर इज अ सेंटेंस फॉर यू सिंस इट स्नोड और हैड स्नोड heavily yesterday the evening train got delayed so i hope you know that snowed is simple past tense the moment you put a had it become the past perfect tense so do you want to go with simple past snowed or do you want to go with the past perfect had snowed pause the video give it some thought and come back and play the video again so the correct answer will be had snowed some of you might have got it right some of you must have got it wrong but the ones who got it right sometimes get it right because had sounds better not because they know the rule so when when do you use past perfect tense in a sentence so the past perfect tense is used in a sentence when a sentence talks about two events in the past that took place at different times so one took place before the other both in the past so then the earlier one is the past perfect tense the latter one is the simple past tense the other way of looking at that past perfect is before the simple past tense think of it that way so if you look at your sentence uh, since it snowed heavily yesterday the evening train got delayed what is delayed that is your simple past tense before that before the delay was the snowing so this is earlier of the two past events which is why had is absolutely correct another way of looking at past perfect if you want to go with the past perfect tense look at the rest of the sentence especially the non underlined part there better be a simple past tense somewhere else if there is no simple past you anyway can't go with the past perfect tense so if you look at another sentence peter won the race because he practiced or he had practiced hard for it now peter won the race one is simple past he must have practiced before that so this is earlier of the two past events again had is the correct one but if i change this sentence if i say peter has won the race present perfect tense then the answer will be because he practiced hard for it because now only one thing is happening in the past which is the practice so past perfect only comes in if you already have a simple past tense somewhere else in the sentence and this took place before the simple past otherwise you don't need at the past perfect tense so that's one way of figuring out whether you want to go with the past perfect or not check the rest of the sentence whether it contains a simple past tense here's another example i was proud to hear that my friend painted or had painted her house by herself now uh, in my experience 50% of the students go with painted 50% go with had painted but now that you know the rule i was proud simple past tense before that the friend had painted something so it has to be the past perfect once again so once you get the rule it's very very easy very very simple you will never be confused you will be very sure of what you're doing the ear will not confuse you so one question this was when there were two events in the past what if there are three events in the past at three different time periods or more than three what do you do then here's the sentence by the time tim realized it his dog had jumped out of his lap and ran or had run out of the door so the earliest event is dog jumping out second event dog running out third event tim realizing it everything in the past so the realized is simple past tense which is the last item in the list i mean the most recent item everything else will be the past perfect so when you have three or more than three items at different times in the past the most recent one will be the simple past tense everything else will be the past perfect tense so his dog had jumped and had run out of the door not ran out so just remember that though i haven't honestly seen this on any official question i can't recall uh, but good to know this so that is the past perfect tense for you and how it will be tested on the gmat i hope this video made some sense to you and i will see you in the next video cheers